Hi, good morning everybody. Thank you for joining us in uh, Ottawa at the Bayview Yards for the Avon Speaker Series Behind the Scenes. My name is Rod Kadri. I'm the Director of Automotive Technology and Mobility Innovation at the Ontario Centres of Excellence. Today we've got a great guest. We've got John Wall, Senior Vice President of BlackBerry and Head of QNX joining us here today. John, thanks for coming. My pleasure. It's great to be here, Rod. So you know the auto sector very well. What does the auto sector look like right now? What are the trends? Where are things going? I think that'll help everybody understand uh, what the opportunities are. We're at a, a really interesting time in the automotive industry. I think for the first time, automotive uh, in this day and age is cool. Uh, there was a lot of focus in automotive about having smartphone-like functionality within the vehicle. That was a lot of the emphasis. But I think now the, the three major trends that are very interesting to the automotive industry uh, are electrification of the car, uh, the connected car, and the automated car. The connected and automated uh, trends are now pushing the car into an area where the whole architecture electronics within the vehicle are changing dramatically. And we're actually going into an area where the car is going to literally be an application platform similar to Android on the phone. And obviously it'll, it'll have much different properties than a cell phone. It'll have to be safe and secure. But you will see that there will be an ecosystem built around the car where the car is abstracted as a set of services. So I think it's a very exciting time to be in automotive. The technologies that are being developed to, uh, to create more connectivity, to create more automation in the vehicle is also driving, let's say, the trend towards low carbon mobility into electrification of, of, the, uh, of the vehicles uh, to reduce emissions. So it's kind of, it's kind of uh, that shift, this technology being uh, developed and embedded into the cars and making the vehicles a platform is also driving us towards reducing uh, the footprint of a vehicle and our transportation oh, system. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I, I think automated vehicles in general are going to reduce the footprint uh, of carbon emissions and, and emissions in general just by the fact that they'll drive the cars more efficiently than, than we're doing today. I think traffic will be managed much more efficiently. The, obviously, the connected vehicle, the automated vehicle, you're going to have a lot more data from the vehicles that we're going to be able to analyze. So I, I think it, it will drive a lot more efficiencies within the vehicle. You know, there, there, there's data coming from the vehicle that, that we don't even realize could be valuable. Things like anti-lock sensors on the wheels that could notify you know, a city that you need to send the salt truck out to this place because we're noticing cars, are, are, their sensors are noticing wheel slip in this particular area. Uh, so it can make us be much more efficient in how, how we treat our cities, you know, where we make improvements, potholes, big issue here in Ottawa. Uh, this is you know, data that can be extracted from the vehicles. These can be solved much more efficiently. How, what's QNX's uh, is position and where, where do you see it going? Uh, for us, connected car, uh, automated drive of the car are the two trends that are driving uh, the opportunity for QNX within the vehicle. So QNX has a long history of being market leader for infotainment, market leader for telematics. We're part of BlackBerry, which is known as one of the best security companies in the world. As a car gets connected, security is a huge issue as well. You combine those two properties, we're now absolutely suited to be the software foundation of the car. And that's, that's where we're headed. We're, we know the car is going to be headed to a place where it, it's going to be an app platform, as I talked about earlier, but it's got to be an app platform based on a very robust, secure, safe foundation. What is going on around Ontario that excites you? What's going on around Ontario that will support the stuff that you're doing? What's, what's Ontario doing right now? Ontario is an automotive province. There's a lot of manufacturing in Ontario. Uh, I think I'm really happy to see that the government has recognized that there's a shift in the industry and there needs to be a lot more focus on the IT side of things uh, and recognizing a company like QNX's contribution to that. So I, I think the government has done a, a wonderful job to raise our profile within Ontario. I think we have excellent post-secondary universities. Uh, I actually think our immigration system is great for bringing in talent from all over the world. So I think uh, Ontario is a good spot. That's great. Where can we um, grow to? We, we have to be able to try to help our SMEs figure out a path into automotive. Automotive is a tough field to get into. Some of the programs that are being set up, AVIN uh, for sure, bringing people together. Uh, we're, we're happy to help SMEs because we do have the contacts within o, uh, OEMs. The world is moving quicker, so I think government has to match that. Uh, the OEMs are realizing that they have to change and move much quicker. Uh, large tier ones understand that they have to move quicker. 
And uh, I think the opportunity for Ontario, uh, you know, if they can provide a competitive environment for people, uh, is unlimited. How can the public be prepared for uh, the new future of CAV, the new future of mobility? From my perspective, and, and many of the OEMs that I've talked to, is introducing features in a very gradual manner that will lead up to autonomous drive eventually, but it'll be more safety features to help the driver. What do you look for in talent? What's the type of talent that you're looking for right now? What's the talent, if somebody wanted to get into the space, what, they should, what should they be doing? Um, that's, I think that's the important piece that would help a lot of, uh, a lot of people understand um, how they could potentially um, get the right uh, skill set in order to, uh, to get a, uh, you know, a, a good job uh, working for a really cool company like yeah. uh, Black. I think the universities uh, do a great job of teaching computer science and electrical engineering, but one of the things I've noticed is that there's been less of an emphasis on embedded software development. And that's, I think, an area where the universities in Canada could do better, or Ontario could do better, is more emphasis on embedded software. I actually believe that as we, the world gets more mechanized, we're going to have more embedded software. And, you know, embedded software is a skill. It's not the same as being a database administrator or, you know, writing Java apps or, or web, web apps. Uh, so we're, we're obviously, we're looking for electrical engineers, computer scientists with deep, low-level embedded knowledge. Uh, we're also looking for young, smart people who are willing to learn those types of skills. So, you know, our, what we look for typically is you know, somebody who's very enthusiastic, somebody who's very excited about what they're doing, somebody who wants to work hard and somebody who wants to learn. That's great. So at the top level, those are the the four main things and everything else falls into place. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks so much, John. I know uh, you've, got a, you've got a talk to give and everybody's excited. So I just want to give you an opportunity if there's anything else you want to say to the crowd before we, uh, we get you on stage. So it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. I'd like to let everybody out there know that uh, QNX, BlackBerry QNX is hiring. So if anybody out there is interested in connected vehicles, automated vehicles, autonomous drive, please go to our website, QNX.com and apply. Thanks. Certainly a great opportunity to uh, be part of a global leader and certainly work with a, a leader like John. Thanks so much, John, for coming. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for the behind the scenes of the Avon Speaker Series, and we'll see you soon.